Hello friends. When Catherine, a vet tech, met baby Sally for the first time, she was in bad shape. A breeder who could no longer take care of her gave her the puppy. Sally got pneumonia and was having trouble breathing. The vet tech said she was blue. Catherine had made sure that Sally could get all the oxygen she needed in a container, or bubble, that held oxygen. As soon as she put Sally in the bubble, she realized that she needed oxygen and would have to stay there for a long time. The poor little puppy had trouble breathing, so it goes without saying that her lungs needed to be strengthened. Catherine took care of Sally for several days or weeks both inside and outside of her oxygen chamber. The fighting puppy couldn't leave her bubble, though, because she would be out of breath in just a few seconds. Even though she had a disability, Sally said she wanted to be a normal puppy. She would often show her caretakers things with her hands, like kissing the wall of her bubble and peeking out. The puppy wanted to play and live like any other dog, but her body wouldn't let her. Catherine didn't just give up on the wild dog. During the puppy's healing and strengthening process, they would usually take Sally and her bubble with them so she could see something other than the four sides of her oxygen chamber. It was always this way until the puppy started pawing at the bubble, making it clear that he wanted to get out. She only made it about 15 seconds outside of her bubble. Even though Sally had trouble breathing, she still wanted to leave her cocoon and see the outside world. Catherine decided to make the dog's short trips outside of the bubble a regular thing. This is also good for the dog's lungs because it gives them some exercise. So, over the next few days, they took Sally out of her bubble for short trips. Catherine kept putting more time between Sally's oxygen help for weeks. Without help from oxygen, between 15 seconds and 3 minutes. That was the change they saw because they worked out every day. It made a big difference in how Sally could breathe. As she got bigger, her bubble had to change, so Catherine came up with a clever way to make it much bigger so she could move around instead of just lying down. One day, they chose to take Sally outside. She was really outside, letting the sun caress her and playing in the grass. She couldn't stay out that long because her lungs weren't strong enough, so they put her back in her bubble. They even let Sally go in and out of her bubble whenever she wanted because she had changed so much since the first day when she was stuck in there. The next day came, and Sally decided she no longer wanted to stay in her bubble. Sally was fine, but Catherine decided for safety's sake to put her back in the bubble. But Sally got away before she could even close the door to the oxygen chamber. That day, she made it clear that she didn't want to be there any longer. When the puppy was given the all, clear, Bonnie, one of Catherine's co-workers, took her in. Bonnie was also there while Sally was getting better. Her new family and dog siblings took to her right away. Sally took her first walk in the park, went to her first pool party, picked out her first toy, and did a lot more. She is no longer that sick little puppy, and now she lives in the real world outside.